It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you guys with another video. And today we're actually continuing to talk about Ubisoft because they can't get their shite together for lack of a better term. Because despite the fact that they're facing calls from their own investors to take the company private, they keep putting out garbage and subpar products. So they, they decided, hey, you know what would be a good idea despite all the constant backlash, whether it's Star Wars Outlaws or Assassin's Creed Shadows, let's put out another subpar Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer that got downvoted to heck and back, sitting right now at 86,000 dislikes. And one of the big controversies that came out about this trailer was actually the fact that they're being accused now of buying bots to promote Assassin's Creed. But don't just take this for it. Why don't we scroll down to Asmund's Gold video here, and you can see it here in the thumbnail. They were paying for bots. There's no other way around this because these are all the, you know, the pretty girls you see out over on Twitter coming in and all of a sudden, you know, you, you know, the same girls that say coochie and link down below or something like that coming over here and saying the exact same thing. Not y'all turning into Japanese historians. Are we all watching the same trailer? This looks incredible. Can I just enjoy this game without being a history nerd? The attention to detail is actually mind blowing here. All of them are these, uh, you, you know, uh, coochie and bio accounts that you see over on Twitter. All the, all the thought bots that go around trying to promote stuff all, all over the comment section. They're not as prevalent right now, considering it's mainly just actual people calling it out and downloading the video to heck and back. But the other thing to point out about this trailer, come over to Ubisoft Japan see the it, it, it even worse ratio and that's a key takeaway here is japan hates this japan despises what's been going on with ubisoft and this video game and you come over here to the trailer sitting at a 7.3 thousand downvotes to only 258 upvotes as of right now and again it's also filled with more people shouting out the game saying how much they dislike the game how much they dislike what's actually going on here but that's a key takeaway that's a point i want you guys to hold firm on all this japan hates this game and we've gone over it japan launches a petition to cancel ubisoft's upcoming assassin's creed shadows games we've talked about politicians actually saying this could instigate an entire international debacle and we've also had freaking ubisoft time to release a statement to japanese gamers apologizing but ultimately telling them to shut the hell up so that they could just ship out the money $70 to $130 to buy this piece of crap game. It is a monumental screw up for Ubisoft right now as they're getting pelted by both Western audiences, but more importantly, Japanese audiences in response to this game. So what's the correct idea for all this? What's the smart move to take? Oh, it's, it's to run a, a hit piece attacking all gamers and saying that Japanese gamers are good and they love this game and all the Western gamers are just bigots. Ubisoft runs to New York Times to attack players in defense of Assassin's Creed Shadows. But again, we, we can come over here to the actual New York Times article, and this is an archived version of the article, but you can see what it is. The fight over a black samurai and Assassin's Creed Shadows, the video game franchise long emphasized in its historical accuracy in settings such as Athens, Florence, and London. The details of its first foray to Japan were attacked online. They were, they, they, they were criticized online for the uh, usage of Yasuke, but also on top of that, foliage, architecture, armaments, weaponry, kanji, dialogue, stealing other people's work. That's what it's been dragged through the mud for. But what, what, what does New York Times have to take it? Oh, we're just bigots. In the first seconds of a trailer promoting the video game, Assassin's Creed Shadows, a ninja emerges from the woods. Suddenly, the camera shifts towards a riverside village of thatched roofs hidden in the mountains, suggesting that the story will unfold in feudal Japan. Seconds later, another warrior appears in the flames of a destroyed settlement it is the game's other protagonist, a black samurai named Yasuke. Some gamers erupted 
over his appearance, convinced that the franchise, known for its immersive recreations of the past, had gone woke by including a black character in its depiction of 16th century Japan. And now they go as far as even in bringing up Elon Musk and what he actually said, but they, they keep getting, they keep getting worse. The backlash over Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is scheduled to be released on November 15th for the PC and the newest Xbox and PlayStation consoles, compelled the French company Ubisoft to remind players that it's a game where ultimately it works a fiction. Although grounded in history, experts say that Yasuke was possibly enslaved as a child before arriving in Japan and later ascended into the samurai class during uh, the Sengoku period. That is all false. Well, not all false, but majority false. Uh, yes, he was a slave. Yes, he was brought over by the missionaries that were coming through at the time. And then Obunobunaga liked the color of his skin so much and kept him as an oddity. He never ascended the rank of samurai. He was at least a sword bearer, if not basically a squire, and was in one battle where he lost and went back into slavery. He was never a samurai. But here's the key takeaway. Again, key takeaway. If there is a hill that I'm willing to die on, it is defending the creative freedom of our teams. Full stop. Just like in the video I did yesterday, Ubisoft keeps not just attacking its players, but hiding behind creative freedom and experts, refusing to actually say like Yasuke, he wasn't historically a samurai or anything like that. All of our experts have said this, but we're doing a creative freedom thing. No, they always want to hide behind the experts and say, experts are saying he was, but we're also using creative freedom. You can't keep doing both because your experts we've gone through. They're garbage, but th that's what it is. They're this whole article is just attacking gamers, attacking people, and further trying to cement that, oh, yes, yes, he was, in fact, a samurai, but also oh, oh, it's creative freedom. It can't be both. It's one or the other. Eagle-eyed fans of the franchise have identified historical inaccuracies before, like the wooden churches in Assassin's Creed Valhalla that were actually from around 12th century Norway, but appeared in the game's version of the 9th century Viking England. But that, that's that's one thing's here or there. Those are small little details. We're talking about mega details that you keep overlooking, but we, we, we then scroll down. But the outcry over Assassin's Creed Shadows has been considerably louder. The inclusion of Yasuke was the primary complaint but observers also pointed out to the presence of Chinese architecture and period inappropriate flags the controversy became so heated that a small right-wing political party in Japan formally asked the government to comment on what is considered historical inaccuracies it wasn't just a small right-wing contingent no 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 it's not just a small group of people it's a majority of Japanese gamers deriding this, attacking this, pointing out how horrible this is, pointing out how bad it is. And it got so bad that Ubisoft Japan had to put out a statement apologizing, but ultimately saying, buy our shit. Shut the hell up, buy our shit. But we want to say it's it's a small group of people over in Japan. It's not a majority of J Japanese people. We didn't have to put out this apology to Japanese players. No, it's it's mainly just Western audiences that are attacking this game. It's mainly just Western groups of people that are attacking this. And by the way, this this article does the one thing that I laugh at the fact that they did it. And I'm I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna scroll down to here because they mention him, Yui Hirama a historian of the Japanese University of Health and Science who specialized in Sengoku period said that Yasuke's samurai status was not in question. The fact that you brought this man up is the key takeaway to why this is nothing more than a political hit piece attacking gamers outright. Because for those of you who are unaware of who Yua Hiriyama is, Japanese historian claiming Yasuke was a samurai exposed as a communist. Not only is he an overt communist, guys. He's a paid PR individual. That's who he is. He's a paid-for PR publicist. The new historian saying Yasuke is a samurai, Yua Hiriyama, is partnered with Pony Canyon, 
a music and entertainment company to promote Japanese culture through entertainment and is also a PR media site trying to globalize to the West. He's a PR person. He's not an actual historian. He's pushing bull crap, trying to drum this up as fact, but in reality, it's just PR stunts. So the simple fact that you included him shows you that this is an attack, that this is pushing more propaganda, that this is just an attack on gamers not wanting to participate in this. But what, what's, what's some of the other historians and experts that Ubisoft has used in the past? Well, we have uh, African Samurai author Thomas Lockley, who lied and was called out by even Japanese government officials as lying and not telling the truth. Oh, but who, who else do we? Oh, oh yeah. Assassin's Creed Shadows, Ubisoft hires LGBTQ plus activists as consultant who wants to challenge moral standards around transgenerational sex. An actual, yeah, yes, Japanese historian who promotes the idea of older men having relations with little boys, young kids. These are your experts, Ubisoft. These are the people you have used to justify your creation of this game and are trying to hide behind. A PR activist, an overt activist who lies about actual historical fact, and a, a lady that loves, loves, loves to promote some things that Mr. Beast Camp also loves to partake in. Interesting how this all always plays out, but that's what they have. That's what they're going to do. They didn't just go to near any old person at the New York Times. No, when we actually come back here to that Park Place article, they ran to specific individuals. And a play straight out of Prime Video's playbook for the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, Ubisoft, leverage Zachary Small and the New York Times, as well as so-called expert to attack players ahead of the release of Assassin's Creed Shadows. They did the exact same thing that Amazon Prime did. They ran to similar individuals as Amazon Prime to push their bullshit to just attack gamers as bigots. All while ignoring the fact that some of the real bigots were The Verge. The Verge reporter Ash Parrish accuses Japanese society of being violently racist amid backlash against Assassin's Creed while tweeting the apology Ubisoft Japan put out. Oh, and who else? Oh, yeah. Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Mercante plays dumb and blames Mark Kern after she described Japanese people as racist for calling out Assassin's Creed shadows. The most hate I see and bigotry I see coming from the West are the people for Assassin's Creed Shadows, are the people promoting Assassin's Creed Shadows. I don't see it from the other side as much. I see hate and derision coming from the people promoting Assassin's Creed. I don't really see it from the other side. No, the other side's calling it out. They're calling out the bullshit. They're calling out the inaccuracies. They're calling out the subpar product, and they're calling out the exorbitant amount of money that Ubisoft wants for this pile of garbage. And instead of addressing any of those concerns, all Ubisoft does is tell you to shut the hell up, buy the game, and you're nothing but more than a bigot. That's all they do. Keep doing that. Keep doing that to the Japanese audience. Man, that's really working out for you, isn't it? All while, at the same time, your stock keeps dropping, you're at a decade low, and you have investors telling you, put the company on private. This is a disaster for Ubisoft, and it's going to continue to be a disaster if they keep going this way. But hey, I'm just some dumb dumb on the internet talking out of a random room in his house. But I'm going to leave it there. Let me get you guys thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.